I am here with the, the homie, Leonardo. Hey. <laughs> you had a dope name like Leonardo. Your parents named you Leonardo. Leonardo. But come on, man. Yeah. That's an awesome name. <laughs> Thank you. And you've been making country music your entire life. That's how I started playing guitar. That's crazy. Uh, and my dad would put on old Hank Williams and George Jones. I would listen along, try to play along. You're like, like the 12th black guy in country. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, you know? What, why that? Why that genre? Just your your in, inspiration from your father. Well, my father you and my mother. They're both from Roatan, Honduras. This island off the coast of Honduras. So oh, okay, we speak Spanish and English, but like that island's like heavy influence on country. W why? I don't know. I went. I wasn't raised there, but like I went there a few times, and they would have like the crazy like yeah. swing dancing, yeah. like all this country dance, like in the club, like. Big in black the country, mother, yeah. like, man, in a Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big black guy, you know, <laughs> doing it. I'm like, what is going on? Yo, crazy. That's wild. Yeah. When did you realize that, like, yo, this could be a career? After Lil Nas X did the thing, I was like, oh, I've been doing this <laughs> for our, like 15, 20 years already. Yeah. Remember when, uh, was it Nelly that did that cross with That's Tim right. McGraw? That's right. Was that the first? That was, big. was that the first? That might have been the collab first. Collab like that? Yeah. And Probably. Jim first. Johnson produced it. And Jim Johnson produced that. Yeah. Wow. I worked with him a few months ago. Oh, that's crazy. Amazing. Yeah, what he did, showed me the plaque. And you enjoy country music. Oh yeah, I love country. Music. That's crazy. And so tell me about like uh, just and and you've I mean you've you yeah uh, you've got doing stuff at Pitbull. You've got two Grammys. You've traveled. Like just tell me a little bit about like some of the places you've been, some of the things that you've some of the things you've done. Let these folks know. See, right after high school, I graduated high school. Uh, I started touring with Lauren Hill. Never heard of her. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, yeah. man. So I told her, we're, we're playing what? The bass playing guitar. Bass. Yeah. Yeah, you were in the studio the other day, and I was like, okay, okay, we've got a bass player in here. Okay, that's yeah. awesome. And you're touring with Lauren Hill. Lauren Hill. On, as Lauren Hill? Like what out, like Zion record, or which one? Um, it, was a, it was right after the um, Miseducation. Miseducation, got it. Yeah. That's so sick. Yeah. That's so cool, man. So, like, yeah, we toured with her, Africa. What was that like? Insane, man. And that right after you got out of high school. Yeah, that was I was like the youngest guy in the band. Like that's so crazy. And then she wanted to make me like the musical director. Like so, I have to tell like these forty year olds, thirty year olds, what to do. I'm like, you're doing that right at, right after high school. I, Nineteen I, years old. Right after high school, I was going to like the movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> you're touring Lord Hill. Oh. Yeah, that's dope, man. And then I, well, then after that, well, you know, what were some other milestones? Then you got to tell me how you got these two Grammys. Oh, that is, that's what we are with Pitbull. Nuts. So, like, when I was with her for a while, but um, I wanted to do a gig that way I would stay home, like, in Miami area a little bit more. Right. So I saw, I know the drummer that used to play with him. I saw him one night, like, hey, Pitbull's looking for a bass player to put me down, let me see. And I did an audition and I got in. And then I connected with Pitt, like, we've been close friends and making music. The first Grammy I got with him was this. The song called E Chapaya. Like, mm. put your hands up in it. That's like mm -hmm. the English version, but right. the Spanish version is called E Chapaya. Right. And then that won an English Grammy under like the tropical Latin section of sure. the And then I won a Spanish Grammy That's awesome. for another song on this album. Yeah. That's crazy. Called que lo que. You talked about just tra wanting to stay home in Miami more. People, we travel a lot, mm. uh, and people. I always find it funny because people are like, oh, you get to travel, that's awesome. But people only say that to people that actually don't travel. Exactly. Like if you travel, exactly. like it, it can wear on you. Yeah, big time. Yeah, what is, uh, what, like how has it been difficult when you're traveling? Like, uh, it sounds very cool when you're like, we're going to all these places in Africa, but it's super tiring. Oh, like, what's, what's your experience been like? Man, like what I try to do most like to, to make up my time, I just, I'm making music like the whole time. I have my laptop. And wow. Guitar, I'm just, for me, it makes the time go by faster. Right. And then once I'm not doing music, I'm on stage with Pitt. Right. So like, when I'm off stage, I'm doing that. Like, Why has music been the thing? Why is like in your blood? How it's is in it? my blood. It's like, like silence like this, like with no music, I start feeling weird. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> like that. I could imagine people in jail with no music, just like, just quiet. Like, right. For me, that'll go crazy. Tell me some of the instruments you play. Guitar. Some piano, some drums, bass. Uh, I used to mess around with the trombone like in middle school. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's cool. What what instrument do you wish you could play that you don't? Hmm. 
the the Dobro. It's like a slide, like oh okay, a slide guitar. It's crazy. That's cool. I'm, I'm gonna learn how to play it, though. Out of all the places that you've. That's that. That's the one where they have the thing on their finger and they're yeah, they're, they're, yeah, yeah man, yeah. dude, yeah. People like Sounds throw cool. down on that thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what's one of the countries or what one of his favorite places that you've been and why? Uh, fun place, Spain, Barcelona. It's fun. Yeah. It's party city for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I bet Pitbull and it, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I believe that. I believe that, man. Wow. A few others. F favorite place in South America besides Honduras, obviously. Uh, Brazil. Okay. When it's not dangerous. Right, 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 right. right, right. right. You can get crazy and real. Yeah. Has it been, what, what's been some of the things that have been the most challenging as you've been on the road? Like, what do you feel like has, because people always think that, like, it's just easy to do this. Like, yo, you're, you want to play music, you just get into it, now you're touring with Pitbull, you're doing Lauryn Hill, like, but obviously there's been struggles. Yeah, you got to get used to, like, no sleep. Like, sometimes there's no sleep. Like, you, after the show, you go to the hotel for a little bit, and then you got to get on the next airport, like, Sometimes we'll be in the airport still wearing our show clothes to go to the next city. Right. Just try that traveling. Well, yeah, that'll, that'll get on you. What do you feel like keeps driving you and like keeps you can keeps you going? Like, do you ever get tired of you know doing the same the different shows? Because you always think like those people like you have a hit song like Pitt has a hit song. And you're like, dude, you're gonna have to sing that song for the rest of your life. Yeah. That's the song that everyone wants to hear. Yeah. Does it? Do you guys ever like? Do you guys ever on stage just kind of like, all right, here we go? Uh, no, actually, because. Right before I say we're like drinking a little bit, and, like, <laughs> and, then, like, <laughs> and then the crowd is like they love, they're that, going crazy. Like, what's it like to play for thousands and thousands of people? Amazing, amazing. You feel like you're floating. Wow. It's just you get all that energy, and I don't know. It's just, I can't even explain it. It's a crazy feeling. All right, tell me some of your favorite country people. That favorite are, country artists? Yeah, favorite country artists right now. Right now, female Kelsey Ballerini. Uh, a group, Florida Georgia Line. Okay, Florida Georgia Line, yeah. yeah. Who else? Yeah, um, Jason Aldean. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's really cool. That's crazy, man. Country music. <laughs> uh, exactly. do people, are people surprised when you tell them that you do country? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, um, as you, like, obviously music has been a big part of you. Um, is there, is there, you know, has there been anything else that you've ever uh, wanted to do, or has that been a struggle to continue in your music career? Or how do you know, you know, has there ever been moments where you struggle to not know what you're gonna do next, or? Man, I set like goals to myself, and sometimes it comes out better than I, I realize it. Right. And I don't know, I'm just, I'm just always hungry to like, try to make as the best music as I can. I feel like it doesn't get old. Like, yeah. I feel like I'm still growing. Like, still. What's your What's your writing process like? You talked about traveling on the road and recording with your laptop. Like, what's your writing process like? Um, I start off with the guitar. Um, we'll think of a song sometimes to flip a song, like an old song, and I start flipping the melodies in my head, and then I'll I'll record it. If If I'm on the road, I record it on um on my phone first. Right. Little memo. Yeah, a little memo. To get it down, and then after when I get my laptop, I, I just go in like melody and lyrics and the music. And people don't understand too. I remember remember when all that ghost writing stuff came out with Drake. People don't understand. It's like that's the industry. Yeah. People are not, yeah. Beyonce's not writing no songs. Exactly. She's maybe writing some of them. Yeah. But there's you know there's people there are songwriters. Yeah. Yeah. I have my song my songwriter partner is here today. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and that's like a big part, that's obviously a, a huge part of the industry yeah. um, that people, you know, don't understand that's happening. There's a lot of collaboration that happens yeah. within the music industry. Oh yeah, big time. Is there, what are, uh, is there, uh, have you ever collaborated with different artists or uh, things that you've written, sang for a different artist or you thought that this is a really great song oh, yeah. for somebody else? Yeah, there's like writing camps for that. Like, they feel like, sometimes people have like a camp and it'll be like 10 producers, 10 writers. And we just start switching off in different rooms. Wow. Like, together we'll do something in this room together. And then the next day we'll switch around, you know, like we'll do it for like a week. Wow. And try to get as best songs possible. Like, all right, this one will be for Rihanna, this one here, or somewhere else. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. And what's it like when you go from something in a camp like that or something, and then you hear it like on the radio, yeah. you're like, that with that, yo, yo. And then people have no idea that you did that, you know? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a great feeling. Like, 
one's like one hits in there. Right. It's, yeah, that's priceless. What's your favorite? What's as you're listening to music like you know Spotify, Apple Music, or something like that? What instruments do you pick up on like the most? Is like the ones you play? Do you like? Can you always hear the bass line? Like actually, when I'm, I'm listening to this stuff, I'm like the first thing I'm hearing is is like the the melody and the lyric, what they're talking about first. Then I will start hearing maybe the uh, the beat, yeah, yeah, the drum beat, then the bass and and the synthesizers after that. Is there a genre of music you just don't like? You're like I'm. I, I like don't. whatever music's good. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, maybe like. Uh, is there like you like what was your like? Are you like rock and roll? Like, like I love heavy metal? Like is there anything? Yeah, there's like you... good rock and roll. There's great heavy metal. There's, there's but there's also like bad heavy metal. Sure, there. sure. Yeah. <laughs> there's bad everything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I like all good music. Is there a what song out right now that you just like? I just do not like this song. Is there a song out like that? Like, do you find yourself you're like, yo, man, I can't even. Or do you always appreciate it? Like, can you always see, like, can you appreciate, like. Oh, this is one. Oh, shit, dude. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I dig the song, but, like, I don't know if it's City Girls. Which one is it? I think it's one of the newer ones. I, I can't remember which, but, like, it feels like she's rushing. Like, who is it? What's I don't city? know. Right? I don't know. What, what, city Girls, like, they're, they, they, uh, they're, they just got real big. That yeah. with, uh, was it? It was, uh, uh, with, with Cardi B, yeah? No, they signed the QC. They signed the they signed the QC, but yeah, they did that they did that uh, they did that twerking video with Cardi B. They did have one with Cardi B. Yeah. Oh right, 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 right. Yeah. It has one of those verses like it just felt a little bit super Russian. It bothers me. So when you hear, it, you're like ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I like the vibe of it. Just just that one little part. That's that's all. That's the engineer could have pushed it like. Nudge it back a little bit, but hey, it still became successful. It came so. a hit. What's it like being in the studio? People don't understand what it, it, it what goes into making a record. Ooh, that's hours making a record. It really depends how fast you are, but like, I see people spending hours and hours on like four measures. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah, like they start getting really in there, but then like the most successful people is like they get it, you know. Get it done quick, like get the idea down, get the track going. They already have their formula, and they're just rolling, you know, That's making awesome. songs. And you, Pitbull's obviously been a really important person to you. Like, what role like does he play, and you know, how how have you guys like made that friendship like even outside of music? Shoot, I'll be. <laughs> we got close after like he had a a place out in the Keys, and I love fishing, so I went there one time and. I was like, oh man, I can catch the most fish here. <laughs> He's like, oh, whenever you want, you stay here, you just fish, you do whatever. And then, <laughs> and then he, what he loved that, like, oh, he was like, oh, you, you can stay, go inside if you want, you know, stay there with the family. I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, I just want to fish in the back, that's it. Right. He's like, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're a straight up country boy, man. You make country music, you're fishing in the Keys, the Pitbull spot. <laughs> that's yeah. hilarious. Yeah, yeah. And then he's the one that encouraged me to be like an artist. Like, first Lauren would tell me like, when I would be in rehearsals like singing, I'll, I'll start singing some background. She's like, "Oh, you, you sing good. You should be an artist. You got the swag." I'm like, "Yeah, right." Nah. And then I started doing shit with Pay. He would tell me the same shit. Yo, you gotta be an artist. I'm like, "Man, okay, fuck it. Let me, mm -hmm. let me try." That's crazy. And now I've been doing this thing like, this genre, we call it country booty music. Like, country booty music. What is that? It's like we're flipping like old like booty songs and making them country. That's hilarious. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> and where can people like find your your music? Where, where soon, people... soon. We're, we're you're in the you're, so you're still writing. You're still recording. Yeah, the album pretty much done. I'm just waiting on um, some of the features. That's cool. But like everything's like pretty much yeah ready to go. Like the first one. This is about to be your first album. Just you as an yeah. artist. Yeah, I'm doing it with Pitt. That's crazy. Yeah, me and him together. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> that's super exciting. Exactly. Yeah, that's super exciting. And um, yeah, we got some crazy features that's, I mean, I can't talk yeah, about that. Yeah, you can't say, now. yeah, right. But when is yeah. it? Do you guys have a date yet? or? Hopefully, uh, by next month, we'll have, a, we'll have the first single out. That is yeah. awesome. Yeah. Man, well, congratulations! Thank That's outrageous. Thank That's you. so so great, man. How did you? And so, who uh, the the drummer introduced you to Pitbull? Yeah. And so, were you guys friends? Like you and the drummer? Yeah, we were friends before. He used to be in my um, 
this old band I used to have, like. Would you ever? Like in high school. Man, did you ever think like those middle school and high school bands would ever have led you to Grammys and touring the world with Lauryn Hill and Pitbull? I didn't really expect that, but since elementary, I felt like I, I was like I want. I, I told myself I want to be an artist, like the music. I already knew that I wanted to be in music from yeah from elementary. Like, yeah, but I, but I, I, I remember being like an, at home watching Lauryn Hill when I was still in high school. Fuji. And I was, uh, yeah. I was like, I don't know why, but I want to play with her. Then like right after high school, I started That's playing. I was like, what crazy. the fuck? <laughs> How'd you get that gig, by the way? But the same drummer. Yo, you owe he that man. A, you owe exactly. that man a lunch. Exactly. <laughs> you owe him a nice dinner. Yeah. yeah. That's cool, yeah. man. Big time, man. Right on. Big time. What What does that say about friendships and people that you kind of met throughout the way? And it's a lot, man. It has to do a lot with people, you know, like and word of mouth stuff, like. Goes a long way, you know, just being a good person, like. Yeah, I feel you. And I don't know, just working hard. Man. Yeah, stop. Man. Yeah, man. So we got record coming out next month. Mm -hmm. What's your tell everyone where your Instagram is or where I, it's gonna be somewhere? If, if we're, wherever you're gonna release this thing. Yeah, it's gonna be out on Spotify, Spotify Apple Music. You all name all it. Platform, you yeah. and Pitbull. Yeah. What's the name of the record? Do we say, do we know that yet? Yeah. Can I say it? Country Girls. Okay, Country Girls coming out hopefully next month. Yeah. You and Pitbull. Yeah. Dude, congrats. Tell, tell what's your Instagram or how do we find uh, Leo music? underscore Brooks. All right. Yeah, and also have a, a hot sauce company that me and Pitt have. Yeah. All right, so Mama you, Brooks. So you and Pitt are like, you and Pitt are like homies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mama, Bro yeah. Mama Brooks is yeah. hot sauce company you and Pitbull have. Do you like hot sauce? Well, you, come on, man. Okay, I got you. <laughs> come on, man. I got you when we're Yo, done. you got to hook me up I with got, some. I got a bottle for you. In the Yo, hook me up with Mama Brooks. I got you. Okay, right on. And then the, uh, the album's next month. Next month. Well, good luck, man. I support Thank you 100%. You.